So let's write an algorithm for a program where the computer gets information from the user about the number the user wants to, the computer to count up to. The computer is then going to start from zero and continue to count one at a time until it reaches the number that the user has said. Let's see if we can write that as a flowchart. Firstly, we need to start with our start terminator. Okay, then we need to get some information from our user about what number they want us to stop counting at. Okay, so, so that's going to be a variable, that number. So get user number. Why is it a variable? Well, because it's variable, it's information that can change based on what the user says. I've changed colour because we need to show that it's a variable. Get user number from user. Okay, now we need to start counting from zero. That's what we've decided to do. Okay, so now we've actually got one more variable here. So set count. So there are two, two variables. The second variable is count. Set count to zero. Okay, now we're going to start to count. Now remember how I said that we're going to increase our count by one each time. So we need to add one, two. Now which variable here? It's going to be adding one to the count. Then we've got a decision to make. The decision is equal the user number. Now remember, we have to have exactly the same font and exactly the same text. So does the count equal the user number? If the answer is yes, but what happens if it doesn't? So if the answer is no, what do we need to do? We need to add one to the count. And it's going to continue to loop like this. So, does the count equal the user number? No. Well, add one to the count. Does the count equal the user number? No. Well, add one to the count. Continue like this until such time as the count does equal the user number, then we finish. So that's what we call a loop. And it's a great way of cutting out all of this repetition. So it's great for repetitive tasks.